Hello everybody, welcome to Erndale's. My name is Dale. I'm so happy that you could join me today. Before I get into anything, I just want to say a very special welcome to all the new subscribers who have joined our channel. I'm very happy to have you join us. I hope you find something here of interest for you to stick around. Um, this channel is brought to you um, from Manitoba, Canada. And uh, I live he out here in the country with my husband and my bird Chip, as you can hear him in the background. He's always a contender. So um, you will find on my channel, you'll find uh, a lot of different crafting. I do knitting, crochet, stitching. Um, I, I do all kinds of crafting. You'll also find some music. I play quite a few instruments, but uh, usually on my videos, I play the piano, either a real piano or a not so real piano. And um, yeah, so and gardening. Right now, my focus is on the garden. Where I live here in Manitoba, Canada, uh, our fall season does not last that long. It's usually over by the end of October. And by over, I mean, it's not uncommon for us to get our real first significant snow mid to end of October. So right now is the time, the only time really, that I have to go out there and get things cleaned up, put away, um, fix my beds, clean them up, you know, get them all ready for spring. So that in springtime, which is late, we don't have, we don't actually get into our gardens till the end of April, if we're lucky, most times it's May. So it's really important for me to get a lot of things done at this time of the year, because in spring, that's short too before it's planting time. So this week I have been spending all my time out in the yard. It's been beautiful weather, cooler, which is perfect for me because I don't do heat well. And no bugs, no mosquitoes, no anything. It's just been wonderful. So I have been really tucking in and getting a lot of chores done out there. Cleaned up my beds, cleaned up my vegetable gardens as you will see in this video. First, I'm going to take you outside and I'm gonna show you what I've been up to this week. Uh, it's been very enjoyable being out in the yard and um, there's still lots to do. I have two yards, one on each side of my house and they're both big and I've just about completed the biggest one and now I have to move over to the other one next week. So I'm hoping in another week I will get back to my regular type videos where I'm inside doing crafting, knitting, you know, um, stitching, that kind of thing, bringing you some tutorials but for the next little while, it has to be gardening first. So come along, let's get out into the garden and see what's going on out there. You brave little guy you are. Yeah, you are. You camera shy? I see your tail. Hello. Work is continuing outside in the garden. I'm just going to clean up the rest of my vegetable garden. Sorry about the noise. Seems like everybody's in their yard today. Anyway, I'm gonna clean out the rest of the vegetable garden and I'm gonna edge it all up. And then we're gonna be setting up our new garden box that's gonna go in one of two new boxes that I'm gonna put some raised beds in this garden just to kind of give my back a bit of um, a break. I put two 
raised beds on the other side of the house over there and it was wonderful. So I'm going to continue with that. First, I got to dig up my carrots. Well, I'm going to get my little tiller in now and I'm going to till this all up, clean it all up, edge it, and then we can set up our new garden box. I have to be brutally honest. One of my least favorite jobs is edging a garden. But it's one of those jobs that when you get it done, you're so glad that you did. So this side is done. I've done that side up to here, but I'm gonna do a little cutout here because I'm gonna put some pots or maybe even a little planter there just for flowers. What this garden it's a vegetable garden, but it needs more flowers surrounding it. So I still have, I've done that up to there. I'm going to do a little cut out here and then I've got all that to do. But oh my gosh, doesn't that look wonderful? I do say so myself. I'm not taking that sunflower out over there because it's not ready. I'm going to take you over and show you. I cleaned all this up a couple of days ago. Still have some weeds to pull in here. Yeah, it's not, it's not exactly ready yet. So I'm gonna leave it for the birds for the winter. They will love it. They'll make good use of it. Well, they'll probably have it finished long before the winter. Oh, doesn't that look so much better? No, this part is going to be next. So I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put the first garden box. And I think I'm going to put it, oh, I don't know. I haven't figured it out. Another job I'm doing today, hopefully, that there are some fairy lights just at the top of this um, structure here. I'm taking those off. I ordered new ones that are exactly the same as what's on my other trellis and that will cover the whole trellis, not just the top. I want it to, I want to see the arches. So that'll be here Friday. So I'm taking those fairy lights off and I have a purpose for those as well. Oh. And I'm not getting anything, no crafting done in the house. All my crafting is out here right now. This is broom corn. I planted it with the crazy idea that I might make some brooms, but I don't think it's going to do anything, so I'm just going to leave it for the birds. I'm sure they'll want to eat that too, and I'll pull it out in spring. Okay, I have to get back to work. It's getting cloudy. Gary's on the other side of the hedge, trimming. Never-ending job. I did some work 
on my fruit bed here. These are raspberries, currants, not currants. Yeah, currants, red currants. And then more raspberries. I got no berries, not one this year, nothing. So hopefully next year they'll give me something. Okay, I have to get back to work. When I was edging, I dug up some tulip bulbs. These are a very small little yellow tulip, very bright yellow. They've been here forever. They were here when I, we bought the property and they've always been right here on this corner. So I'm gonna put some pots along here and I'm going to plant tulip bulbs in all the pots. Not all these, but all kinds of tulip bulbs. And it's time for lunch, so I'm gonna go in, but when I come back, I got that piece there to do. And then maybe we will put a, our new raised bed together. So it's the next day now. Gary and I got our box made, but it's not in the where it's going to be. We just made it and uh, set it here for right now. Um, I haven't decided <laughs> where it's going to be because there's going to be two of them. So we're going to have to do a little thinking on this. But right now I'm going to climb up there and get those fairy lights because I have a little project I'm going to show you that I'm going to do. It's a little bit like untangling a ball of wool. Years ago, I bought two of these glass shades at a secondhand store. Just waiting for the car to go by. And what I did with them is I turned them into an outdoor lamp. I hung it on my, my uh, fence in in the city. So what I did was I had I had one of these I took the top part off and I placed it on the top here so the solar this is solar so the sun would get it and then I hung it by a chain on my my fence and I had a solar light actually winter, spring, summer, fall. And I picked up the chain at the dollar store and all it was was just one, one chain, it's got a hook on the top and it's three different chains and they all have a hook on the bottom. So I was, there's a hole at the bottom of this so I was able to put the three chains there, strap it around and hang it up and it worked perfectly. But this is finished now. It doesn't hold a charge anymore. And um, I'm going to replace it with those fairy lights that I took off, off the um, arch. So I've got the fairy lights here, but this is where my problem is right here. I was just gonna put this like this, but it's not gonna stay. So I decided that I'm not gonna take this off because in case this doesn't work, I can always put this on a post beside wherever I put the lamp. So what I'm gonna do, um, I was decided I would take this apart and still use this part of it, but this one that I took off of here is very badly rusted. So lucky for me, I found another and I've removed I've removed the um, screws and here I have it. But I gotta pop this out somehow. 
I have to figure out. It's really welded in there pretty good. Maybe I need a hammer. I don't think that's actually going to come out of there, to be honest with you. So I guess what I'm going to have to do then is I'm going to put this one back in. It's not going to charge anything, but I'll have the cord coming out and I'll have to affix this somewhere beside where I'm going to hang my um, lamp. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put all of these fairy lights in here. These are really bright. I can see these from upstairs in my uh, in my craft room. I can see these at night. They're very, very bright. So this will be really nice and bright, this lantern. These fairy lights are outdoor lights. I have only had them for the summer. I bought them in spring, so I have no idea how they're going to be for winter. I guess I'll find that out. So I'm going to put that back on like that. And that's going to go in the garbage because I wrecked it. Put this on. And these are already charged because they've been on the they've been on the arch all summer. So I don't have to charge them up. There. They're all in there. And this is going to be placed somewhere where I can put it to face the sun. I was thinking of putting this in my tree over yonder. <laughs> over yonder. So I think I'll do that. There. We'll see how this is this evening. I'll come out and see if it's all lit up and I'll take a little video. There, my lantern will shine again, hopefully. I hung the lantern in this tree. So I just hung it on a bottom branch because I want the light to go, you know, all the way around. And the little stick from the charger fell off. I lost the screw. So I've just got it wired onto this branch here. And um, yeah, should work good. I'll come out later tonight and take a picture and show you. I'm quite happy with that project. I, I'm pretty sure it's gonna work. So we've put the box in that far corner. I had it here before. The next one is going to go right here. So I'll have a little bit of in-ground here and a little bit of in-ground at the back. And of course, I grow my squash on this arch here and my pole beans. So this is going to be how the vegetable garden will be next year with another box here. In the meantime, these planters were on the side of my front step. I had geraniums in them and I've taken the geraniums out. I've cleaned them all up, shook off all the, the uh, soil from the leaves, taken all the dead stuff off and I put them in paper bags and they are down in my cold room in the basement. That's where they're going to be until spring and then I will replant them and I'll have really lush um, geraniums. I started those geraniums from seed so um, they're really good and healthy stock and we'll start with those next year. Won't have to buy any. In the meantime, I am going to plant these planters with tulips. Now, our winters are really harsh here. We get 
we can get down to 40 minus 40 Celsius, which is really cold. Um, I have never ever planted tulips in containers for the winter. My tulips have always been planted in the ground. I've never had any problems, but I've been watching people on other videos plant in pots. And just for an experiment, I'm going to try it. I'm going to put some in these two pots, this pot, and this pot. And we'll see if they survive the winter. I don't know if there's enough. These pots are quite deep, so they should be okay in there. I'm not sure about that one. And I went into uh, Dauphin. Yesterday I had a medical appointment and I stopped in at Walmart and they had tulips. So I bought two packages of tulips. These are really nice ones, real fancy. And these are the ones that I dug up. They were in the corner of the garden there. So I'm gonna plant these ones and some of these and I'll fill up those pots and then whatever I've got left, I'll just put in the ground around in my other gardens. Aren't these gorgeous? Anyway, that's what I'm going to do now. So I planted six in there, no, five in there, five in there of the new varieties that I just bought. I put some yellow ones in there, new varieties in there, and I put the rest of the yellow ones back in here where I got them from. And I just put those stones just to remind me in spring that I actually planted something in there. So um, I won't go digging it up again. And I have all these to plant elsewhere. So I'm gonna put these in my perennial beds along the border. That'll be nice for spring. My new solar lights, lights for the arch arrived yesterday. There's 300 lights. This is the same set that I have on my other arch. And it comes with a charger, which has batteries in it already. And um, there's, I think, eight different modes. You can have them on solid or you can have them doing all different kinds of things. And this has a little, or it did have, oh, here it is. Sorry about that. Has a little stick. So if you wanted to put them in the ground, you could. But I'm going to be putting mine on the um, arch. So I'm going to get busy and put those on. And I also got two more sets of fairy lights. And I'll show those to you too. There was a, a, a two pack. And I got all this off of Amazon. It's actually fairly cheap. So there's two packs, battery packs with the lights. I think there's 150 lights in these and they're very, very bright as you will see. Um, so I have enough for two projects or I'm thinking I might put these on the hedge and see how they do. Hello, little bird. So I'm going to keep these for another day but right now I got to do the arch that's going to take a while um, so I'm going to go get my ladder and get set up and then we'll get started with that project when I hung my other lights on the other arch a couple of years ago I think they've been on there for about three years now um, I was having a hard time connecting them to the, the arch and in desperation I ran upstairs and got my sewing clips and I actually used my whole jar so I bought another one I've actually replaced the ones for sewing but I bought another one just for this project and these are perfect actually for putting these little lights on 
Now I can't get the top off. Uh, putting these little lights on the arch. They're, the clips are small enough that I can get them on small things, like on small little wires and... Oh, I can't get it open. Maybe I won't be using these. Oh, it screws off, Dale. Yeah. So who knew there was more than one use for these wonderful little clips? So I'm going to fill my pockets with these and I'm going to climb up and start putting my lights on the arch.